everybody, welcome back. In today's episode, we're going to be making roasted chickpeas. Set your oven to 400 degrees. You'll need garbanzo beans, a can opener, and strainer. Now open your can of beans. Strain the can and rinse really, really well to get all that starchy liquid off. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Keep rinsing. Almost done. Still rinse. Dump the beans out on a cookie sheet that's lined with paper towels. Pat them dry really well, then remove the paper towels when you're done. Now you're going to need to remove all of those skins. Put enough olive oil on the pan to coat each and every bean and just roll them around until they're evenly coated. Make sure you leave them in a single layer when you're done. Now they're ready to put in the oven. Set your timer for anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes. Once they're done, give the pan a little shake. Time to season. I'm using lemon pepper, but it had settled a bit and it wasn't mixed very well. Sprinkle your seasoning of choice onto the beans. Give the pan a good shimmy and shake to coat the beans. And then, ta-da, you're ready to eat. Okay, so the roasted garbanzo peas are all done. They're out of the oven. And I've never tried them before. This is a brand new recipe. And I'm going to try these on camera live for you. So, hopefully they're okay. I mean... I don't hate them. Probably could have cooked them a little less. But maybe they're supposed to be like that. It's like a hard crunchy outside. The inside's kind of a little squishy. Just a little squishy. I don't know how I feel about the lemon pepper mixture. probably go with another combination next time but I will make these again these will be a great snack I know Leilani would like them little chickpeas roasted chickpeas so definitely I'll cook them less next time and I'll use a different seasoning combo you can do any combination that you like so oh that one's a good one that one wasn't too crunchy maybe it depends on the size oh that one's good too That one's hard. Mm. So leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried these before. And give me some suggestions on some seasoning combinations that you would try. Hmm. This one's a go. I'm going to do this one again. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time.